The Cable State Islandbrook Bridge across the Isle River forms part of a new section of the N50 motorway near the city of Kampen in the Netherlands. The total length of the bridge is 412 meters, the inclined A-shaped pylon is 94 meters high and the main span is 150 meters long and 20 meters wide. Approach spans on each side of the main span are 101 and 137 meters long respectively. Starting from the deck level, special climbing scaffolding is being used for the erection of the pylon legs. A temporary strut is necessary to support the inclined pylon. For the main span, Dividac Dyna grip stay are used to support prefabricated steel sections. A 24 meters long bascule bridge provides an opening for tall sailboats. Dividac Systems International has installed 24 parallel strand cables with up to 86 PE coated, waxed and galvanized 7 wire strands per stay cable with a maximum ultimate force of 23,000 kN. The lengths of the stay cables vary from a minimum of 68 meters to a maximum of 163 meters. The Dividac Dyna Grip Anchorage consists mainly of an anchor block with ring nut and an elastomeric bearing. The Dyna Grip Anchorage is an anchorage without bond that permits monitoring, restressing and replacement of individual strands and the complete cable during the cable's entire service life. The PE coating of the individual strands is continuously up to the wedge, minimizing the portion of the strand that must be protected with corrosion protection compounds. The anchorage is designed and tested according to the most current PTI recommendations. The outer sheathing consists of black high-density polyethylene tubes. For each pair of stay cables, several tube sections are welded together on the bridge deck using mobile butt welding equipment. The external helix helps to prevent rain-wind-induced vibrations. Together with a first strand and a winch rope, the upper end of the outer sheathing is lifted towards the pylon anchorage and fixed with chain hoists. Next, the complete sheathing is pulled towards the deck anchorage and the first strand is threaded into the anchor block below the bridge deck. From a working platform below the deck, the first strand is stressed. This action also straightens the sheathing. Subsequently, the remaining strands are installed one by one and immediately stressed. To balance the prefabricated steel deck elements, these activities are performed simultaneously at each pair of stay cables. Prior to strand installation, the PE coating is removed from the individual strands and the outer wires are cut with a grinder using a special attachment device. This allows the king wire of the strand to be connected to an installation assisting gliding device and to the pulling rope. A winch at the deck near the pylon pulls the strand through the sheathing towards the pylon anchorage where the strand is coupled to a feeding wire and pulled through the wedge plate. A counter-directed winch near the deck anchorage returns the pulling cable with the glider back to the deck. The installation sequence of the strands is pre-planned and illustrated on a sketch, indicating the appropriate strand pattern. The 
strand is secured with a wedge, which is fixed into position using a short steel pipe and a hammer. Next, the lower part of the strand is inserted into the deck anchorage. At the stressing anchorage, a reference jack is placed on the first strand. A compression tube and a wedge are placed together with a working jack on the lower end of the strand. The PE coating of the strand is blocked at the compression tube and compressed during stressing. In the first step, a specific hydraulic pressure is applied. The strand projection is then measured and documented. In the second step, the pressure is increased until the force in the working strand and the first strand are the same. The pump switches off automatically when the wedge of the first strand lifts off. The final pressure and the elongation are recorded and then the working jack can be released and it is ready for the next strand. The described stressing method is patented by DVDuck and it is known as the content stressing method. After installation and stressing of all strands, the cable can be completed. A deviator combined with an elastomeric bearing provides support for transverse cable forces and it helps to reduce cable vibrations. The main span was erected in a period of four months. Due to the outstanding cooperation of all parties involved, it was possible to achieve an erection cycle of seven days per segment. 24 Dividax stay cables were successfully installed and stressed. Due to the high quality of the Dynagrip anchorage, minimum maintenance activities are required and long-term durability is assured. The Eilandbrook Bridge was opened in January 2003. Thanks to proper planning of this project and effective collaboration during erection of the bridge between all parties involved in design and execution, the Eilandbrook was completed on schedule. The city of Kampen got a new beautiful landmark that improves the local traffic flow.